Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Corny, and welcome to another gameplay on PC. And um, I've got a few things I like to say today. A few things I want to talk about. A few topics, and I'll probably be the best thing because I haven't really had much to talk about lately, apart from the Wii community with Kapugan23 on his channel. But update. As you guys all know, I am a director for TGN Let's Play. But from yesterday onwards, I've became a director for TGN Let's Play, and now I'm a director for TGN FPS, which is amazing. I'll be getting to post Call of Duty on their channel. My striker video up that has been on my channel is going to be on their channel tomorrow. I hope it's going up tomorrow. It might be, because they have a lot of traffic. They have a lot of directors, because FPS games are very very popular these days and I was surprised I even got in but as you see here I got a type 95 got red dot rapid fire we're playing some kill confirmed I do not generally go for the tags in this gameplay because with the double XP bonus I've got from prestige and actually the t the people I shoot the tags that they drop it gives double XP so whoever picks it up gets say 100 EXP for picking it up instead of 50 which I think is a pretty good deal for somebody so I sometimes make sure that there's a guy behind me and so he can pick up the tags, get some more XP. Unlike I pick up them. But sometimes I pick up them, some sometimes I don't, but that's him far. I know a proud a proud director for TGN FPS as well as Let's Play. Um the new Rayman video will be going on Let's Play soon and the video for FPS will be going up as well. And a few other things. The I've been asked a question because of when I was on Kapuga's channel I got an inbox and someone said you've talked about the Wii community now can you talk about PC right well this is what I think about the PC community personally um, since COD 4 COD 4 was a great game everybody agrees that COD 4 was one of the best Call of Duty's ever made and that game developed tryhards for PC where people always used to try their best, not have any fun, just try and do positive no matter what and I agree that was fun at the time but and then Modern Warfare 2 came to PC and introduced IWNet which involves Xbox lobbies and things like that and that was one of the worst things they did due to the fact I don't know why but they enabled tons and tons of messages and like voice chats in the lobby so typically you get people from down south of London or you get someone from America, Brazil, Germany, France etc etc screaming down the mic going Burr, or your mom or you're a dick or you're a lawyer, you're a casual, you're a noob, you're a knobhead things like that and technically I just mute the people that do that unless I want to keep trolling them and just do some more stuff and tell them to calm down and they start raging even more but a PC community generally are nice people apart from the people I've just mentioned so apart from that it's all good but I still think the Wii community is better because like, hardly any of them has mics so you don't get loads of people screaming down the mics being try hard with an ump 45 and this is another topic I want to talk about macros one thing in Call of Duty when they started adding single shot weapons they started making macros Macros basically click for you, it's not a hack, it's not a cheat, it's classed as an exploit and you can get banned for it. A macro, what a macro is, is you can keep that you can keep hold of the fire button for a single shotgun and it'll shoot it like a machine gun, very accurate. Like this guy here, Friday night. He's using a macro because the way he shoots the M14, you cannot shoot it that fast on PC because on PC it actually has a delay on the shot time for the M14 and that guy shoots it like an AK-47 which is it's impossible for that and he's been called out on so many other games as well but I thought I'd upload this gameplay just to prove that he actually does I have no idea how the hell I get knifed here but apparently my knife's made out of rubber and basically that's a macro, macro shoots for you so you don't have to keep clicking it just clicks for you it doesn't lock your aim on or anything but this is what I mean right here look he aims through the wall at me which is weird and then he fires really fast, it's like unbelievable. So yeah, I say in the top left, nice macro. And then he complains there's a hack of this and this and things like that. So you can't win them all and I don't plan to. I plan to have fun on Call of Duty. Okay, another topic. My channel. Oh, 
holy shit my channels went up crazy I was at 54 subscribers now I'm at 83 that's amazing I've nearly went up 30 subscribers so 30 of you guys actually subscribed and watched my content which is amazing I thank you for that and I hit 13 likes on my striker my strike um, gameplay which is I haven't hit a striker I haven't hit 13 likes before on a game especially on YouTube so I think that's really good as well and I'll be hoping there'll be more gameplay coming up in a, in a day or two because I need to record some more I've got some set out I just need to record them do the commentary and put them up but later today there's gonna be an upload on DC Universe Online me and Dak908 have actually been playing DC Universe Online and are enjoying it thoroughly it's so much fun we're gonna be live streaming tonight so if you guys are gonna be joining me I haven't live streamed for the past two nights because one I haven't been very well and two I just my internet was like fucking go and crazy it was like on and off on and off so I couldn't really live stream and it kind of screwed me over so and I know you guys like my live stream I get like 30 of you guys in my live stream which is amazing I first started live streaming like a week ago and I got like one or two viewers and the occasional chat but since you guys have been blowing up on my live stream. I get tons of messages. I get tons of messages on YouTube saying, "Can I have your ally code? Can I add you on this? Can you invite me? Can I be in the live stream?" I'm not gonna say no to you guys because you guys are what you make me. Unlike most of the big YouTubers now, it's like they don't listen to any of their subscribers. They just leave them a comment and stuff. I listen to you guys because you're the guys that make me who I am. You guys support me through this YouTube process and actually get me to where I want to be which is basically I got to TGN Let's Play because of your guys help I got to TGN FPS because of your guys help and I got I got everybody because of my friends and their friends all just looking at me and be like oh this guy's pretty cool I'm gonna subscribe and that makes me feel really happy guys I really do hope you like my content like I said on my comments on the previous thing I do do weapon requests if you request a weapon I'll get a gameplay with it I'll try and go positive. If I'm not, then I won't upload it. But I, I don't post gameplays where I like to go 40 and 6 or 40 and 3. I post gameplays that I don't try hard on, that I actually have fun playing. So, and that's just coming to a close, guys. Remember, rate, comment, subscribe. Hope you've all enjoyed this. Peace.